Hello, everyone. My name is David Kang from University of Michigan. Uh, thank you for coming to my presentation today. The title of my uh, paper is Low Mileage, High Fidelity, Evaluating Hypergraph Expansion Methods by qualifying, Quantifying the Information Loss. Uh, this is the outline of my presentation. I will briefly introduce background, propose framework, experiments, and conclude the paper. Uh, this is the background. So graph consists of node and edges, and each edge represents a pairwise relationship between pair of node. And there are in everywhere, such as a social network, a neural network, road network, and protein-protein interaction network, and so on. And how, however, the graph has a limitation. In the real world, there exist, exist many complex group relationships, such as the collaborations of research paper, uh, researchers and co-purchased products in e-business platforms. And the graph struggle to, <coughs> I'm sorry, precisely represent the group-wise relationships since they use edge, which represent pairwise relationships. And hypergraph is a generalization of a graph consisting node and hyper edges. And each hyper edge is a set of nodes uh, with an arbitrary number of nodes and this enables to represent group-wise relationships among nodes within a set without the information loss. And thanks to the expressive power of hypergraph, there have been many methods to use hypergraph for downstream tasks. And most of these methods conduct downstream tasks in common two steps. So one is the expanding hypergraph into a graph, which is defined as a hypergraph expansion and conducting the machine learning or deep learning method on the expanded graph. So in this paper, we tackle this process in most in mo literature. So hypergraph expansion method is chosen without undergoing in-depth analysis, unlike the machine learning or deep learning. And unfortunately, there are no clear answer on the superior hypergraph expansion method and lack of empirical results for systematical comparisons. So to fill this gap, we aim to conduct comprehensive and comparative analysis of hypergraph expansion method. Uh, let me introduce hypergraph expansion method briefly. So there are about five hypergraph expansion methods, four existing ones and one possible method. And click expansion, uh, expand the hypergraph into a graph where a node in the same hyper edges are represented as a click structure. And this is the simplest and most intuitive method for representing group-wise relationships by using the pairwise relationships. And star expansion expands a hypergraph into a bipartite graph, and this represents relationship between node and hyper edges. And multi-level decomposition expands a hypergraph into M decomposed graph. And line expansion expands the hypergraph into a line graph. And line node represents a no pairs of a node and a hyper edge that node belongs to. <clears throat> and there is a possible expansion method that combining click and star expansions as well. Uh, however, uh, these expansion methods have a limitation also because uh, group-wise relationships may not be fully preserved uh, because the hyper edges uh, are converted as, as a set of edges, and this may lead to the degradation of downstream task accuracy. So in this paper, we define such a problem as an information loss. And, and categorized into three problems. So one is the non-recoverability, non that a problem where one cannot recover the original hypergraph precisely from its expanded graph. And tie weakening, a problem where the tie strength between nodes belonging to the same hyper edge becomes weaker than the original graph. And a multi cloning, right? a problem where a single node in an original hypergraph is rep represented by the multiple nodes in its, its expanded graph. And this is the summarization of information loss problems associated with hyper expansion method. And click expansion suffer from non-recoverability, star expansion suffer from tie weakening, 
and line expansions suffer from the multi cloning. And we know that multi level decomposition suffer from uh, non recordability and the multi cloning. But theoretically, <coughs> uh, multi level decomposition do not suffer from the non recordable non recordability if the number of uh, graph is set to the size of the largest hyper edges. Uh, however, in practice, there is some computation overhead, so it can. Uh, we need to reduce the number of the decomposed graph, so it has the multi uh, non recordability problems. And also, we know that the CS do not have any information loss problems. So if we use the hypergraph expansion method that provides expanded graph with the least information loss, then the accuracy of downstream task would be improved. So we are going to quantify the information loss in this paper. And our idea of the measuring the information loss is encoding and decoding. So given on a hypergraph HO and its expanded graph G1, then G1 should be preserved HO, the topology of HO as much as possible. And if we reconstruct H1 based on the G1, then H O I H1 should be similar to the H O. And the difference between the H1 and H O primarily stems for uh, information loss, which means uh, we can simply measure the information loss by measuring the difference between the H O and H1. And based on this idea, we propose a mileage that quantifies the information loss of hypergraph expansion method. And it consists of four components, the hypergraph expansion, node representation, hypergraph reconstruction, or mileage score, or which is the information loss computation. Uh, more more, for more details, please, please refer to the paper. And now I'm going to present our experimental results. So we have conducted experiment, extensive experiments with using eight real-world hypergraph data sets and three levels downstream tasks such as node classification, uh, hyperedge prediction, and hypergraph classification. And our experiments are designed to answer these evaluation questions. And the first one is the correlation between the mileage and accuracy. So if the information loss actually affects the accuracy of downstream task, then the accuracy is expected to decrease as the information loss increases. And moreover, if our framework mileage is properly designed to uh, evaluate the hypergraph expansion method through the information loss, then there should be a, pure, a clear correlation between the information loss and the accuracy. So to find, to investigate this, we conducted, uh, uh, we measured the information loss of expanded graph and conducted downstream task on the graph and measure the accuracy. And we uh, find out the correlation between the information loss and uh, accuracy. So through the results, we observed that uh, there is a strong negative correlation between the mileage, mileage score which is the information loss and the downstream task, task accuracy, regardless of downstream task and the embedding method and the prediction models. Uh, then we have evaluated the existing hypergraph expansion methods through the mileage, and we observed that uh, M, which is the multi level decomposition, expand, uh, provides expanded graph with the highest mileage. And this happened because the M is the only method that suffered from two information loss problems. And the second observation is the CS provides the least mileage because uh, we know that there is no information loss about uh, CS. And the third observation is the trend of downstream task accuracy is opposite to that of the mileage. And once again, this indicates the information loss and downstream test have a strong negative correlations. And we observed that the mileage is agnostic to negative sampling method and insensitive to the parameters used in mileage. 
Uh, this is the conclusion. So in this paper, we define three information loss problems in the hypergraph expansion, and we propose a mileage that quantifies the information loss. And finally, we conduct extensive experiments with eight real world data sets to demonstrate the impact of information loss and to evaluate the hypergraph expansion method. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.